welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics uh, today we'll discuss the commutator bracket now we are trying to build up the mathematical tools uh, slowly and also which we'll be using in the course so this is one of the tools which we'll be using borrowing from the linear algebra so the commutator bracket is defined for two operators as it is defined it is defined for two operators a and b as now a comma b is defined this this is the commutator bracket okay it's a square bracket which we use uh, to represent the commutator bracket so this is defined as a cap b cap minus b cap a cap now this is the definition all right this is how it's defined so you should remember this uh, commutator bracket okay so now there is another thing called anti commutator bracket okay so anti commutator bracket is defined as this anti now this is not used in this course uh, but uh, you will be using during your msc courses um, okay so this is beyond syllabus but you should know the definition if it's asked in the exam in some of the exams it might ask that uh, regard use this bracket okay so to solve the problem so you should know the definition so this is defined as in curly this is in curly bracket braces Okay, this is a square bracket okay this is a square bracket square bracket and this is curly braces or you can say the second bracket now this is a b plus b a okay so this is how it's defined now we'll take an example and we'll solve uh, how it works okay so let's take an example okay so there's two operators position operator and the momentum operator now, this is one of the important results we we'll, what we solve is one of the important results to remember but how we do it like the process is whenever we have an operator we always take a dummy wave function a wave function okay we take a wave function and we operate on it and then we see the results okay so x px will operate on some wave function which is a function of x okay so this is x px minus px x okay now whatever we are doing whatever calculations are we, we are doing we are doing in space representation of wave function space representation operators are also represented in space position to using position um, and the wave function is also represented using position okay there's a other thing called momentum representation okay where we represent it using uh, momentum uh, all right moment. so in this case we are using space representation or simply we can say position representation okay all the operators and wave functions are in uh, position representation so if we proceed further what we do is we write x operator as x now this is minus i h cut d by dx minus minus i h cut d by dx so, sorry this is x and this is psi now always represent remember that this operator works or uh, goes like operates from uh, like this way okay this this operators work this will operate first then we will operate this will operate and then this will operate okay so we can take this common these are quant constant quantities i i iota and h cut so we take it outside so what we have is uh, this operates on psi minus this is, this is x psi okay so minus i h cut this is x d dx okay minus now this up this will operate on both x and y x and psi sorry x and psi 
Okay, so when you operate them, what happens? So we'll use you'll use uh, uh, like you'll first integrate this function and then you're keeping this constant and then sorry differentiate not integrate differentiate you'll differentiate this function keeping this constant and uh, again you'll differentiate this function keeping this constant. Okay, so this will become first one will become psi. Okay, and the second term will be x d psi by dx. Now this one, this position, see mat, the position of the operator matters. Okay, the, the, this uh, this is say this is the position like x dx. Now x dx this looks the same. Okay, these are the same quantity, so you can cancel this out. These two quantities. Okay, these are same. Now what you are left with is minus i h cut psi. Okay, now what we get here is we can simply separate the effect of the operator now operating this quantity on psi x simply adds this uh, okay this will be a plus sign okay there's a minus minus plus sign so only adds i h cut to the wave function so we can simply say that the x px commuted bracket reduces to i h cut okay so this is important you should remember this Okay, this is very important. We we'll use it in many cases. Now let's learn some uh, the language which we use to talk about this commutator bracket. If a comma b is not equal to zero, that means in this case if this is not equal to zero, right? This is equal to some constant. No, this a and b can be any operator. Okay, so then it is said. It is said that A does not A does not commute with B. A does not commute with B. Okay. Now the example says that A does not commute with B. The example is that um, in this case, what we say that x p x is equal to i h cut. Now, now this is not equal to zero, right? This is equal to some constant, not finite value. Now we say that x cap does not commute with p x. Commute with p x. So this is how we talk. If if it say if it's uh, given that this is not equal to zero or like that, so you can just you'll just understand that uh, that that commuted the the two operators do not commute with each other. All right. So if you see this next one is if a b commute with each other means commute is equal to zero. That means it is said that That A and B commute with each other. Commute with each other. All right. It's like A commutes with B, B commutes with A. All right. It's like that. So if you take an example, say X and you have PY. Okay. So this operates on X Y. Okay, say, say a 2D two dimensional uh, wave function. Okay, so in that case, uh, this will come out to be zero. You can prove it. Okay, you can take the same step and prove it. Okay, that this is equal to zero. Okay, what you need to do is just take the LHS and replace this uh, these functions with their operator form. So this x becomes this. Now this is h dy by dx. Now this is let's solve it. Uh, it's very simple. Like you could have tried it yourself, but that's okay. So this is the format on the LHS. Now if you take this common, we are following the same method. Okay. So what we have is x dy psi minus dy x psi. So if you see this, see this is derivative with respect to y. Now this is fine. You cannot simplify any further. This can be simplified. Okay. So if you see this, that uh, if you operate it, see this is a function, this is a derivative with respect to y and there is only, y is only in 
f psi only okay so in this case what will happen is x d y minus this is x d psi by d y so you can see that these two forms these two operators are same okay so this becomes zero all right so we'll say that x commutes with momentum operator along y axis okay similarly we can write this things that x cap x will be zero and say px px you can prove it similarly now once we have learned how to do it we will not do it through in the exam like this okay we'll just use this result we should directly write like okay the same there is same operator then it will uh, operator will always commit with itself okay and always remember like if you have any confusion you can do the whole calculation but you should by practice you will be able to understand that when it will be zero and when it will not be zero okay so thank you for watching have a great day you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends 